Hello, this is Grandma's Gone Gaming. I'm bringing you a uh, little demonstration, not a tutorial really, um, and not really an experiment, uh, stuff that I've done before. Um, but we've been talking about trees and how to grow the larger trees and some tricks that you can use to get larger trees even though they might not be truly larger yet they're they're naturally grown so i set my timer to 20 minutes i'm going to try to keep this down i have made um, little arenas here i'm going to plant in here um, four acacia saplings try to keep my time down to the 20 minutes or thereabouts all right we're going to those might grow by themselves i mean they will eventually grow by themselves but they don't always so we're going to also plant in here now four birch trees Oops. Oh, come on. Up in the air. There we go. Oh, and r rain has been starting over and over again. Um, I'm going to clear the weather. I know it won't stay that way, but I'm going to give it a little bit of a break here. Now we're going to do the dark oak. Now the only way that you can plant dark oak is in a 2 by 2 patch. That didn't clear, did it? Oh, weather clear. There we go. All right. Now we're going to do the jungle tree. Now jungle trees will make giant trees. It is a, does not want to clear. It's because I've been clearing it several times while I've been getting ready here. All right. So there's the jungle trees planted. And then we're going to go to over here the oak tree. Just regular oak. We're going to plant four of those also. <laughs> it's going to get its weather in whether I want it to or not here. Okay. Um, oh, I don't want that one. Six. This is the large spruce tree. Now, I'm going to demonstrate the large spruce trees first. Spruce tree first. Um, one of the tricks that we're going to use on some of these single trees is a uh, thing that we do with glass. You can put that at the northwest corner of your trees. I think you can probably use it on some other corners, but that seems to be the one that works. However, you don't want anything, anything at the corner of your your uh, large spruce trees or they won't grow. Oh, there went the jungle tree right away. It went up all by itself. We didn't even need to bone meal it. Um, and you take out the bottom glass right there like that. And with the oak tree, that would make it get large even when you were just planting a regular tree. Now we're going to try this. There is no way that I can make this tree grow with that glass in there. It is not going to happen. Not with your spruce tree. So we're going to take that out. And then we're going to hit this. Probably only take maybe once or twice. There it goes. And we are obviously in the snapshots. And it puts the pods all down in the same pattern here that it has the leaves up above. If there's grass underneath. If it's just dirt, it won't do that. Okay, so that's a fairly nice big spruce tree. Um, they come up, you know, you don't always get them that tall. Either one of these. They also might be taller. Um... And you can, you know, just try that a time or two and see what happens. Uh, we're going to do the other one that does become a giant tree, which is like all the trees that are around here. We're in a rift forest. And again, um, I did experiment using the glass. And we'll do that again. And it didn't work. It did not help to make it bigger. Well, take that one out right there. And instead, it just sits. And yet... Take that out, and we'll hit it. I'm gonna back off a little bit because this is getting a little bit, a little bit wider. There we go, and we have a very large dark oak tree. It's not real tall, but then most of these aren't. Sometimes they get a little bit taller, but that's basically the pattern they make. It's about as big as you can get. Now you could grow that a little taller. Well, we're gonna experiment with that in a few minutes and see what kind of trees you can get. Now these trees here are not meant to grow the oak tree the acacia and the birch trees are not meant to grow larger um, but you can grow them together so that they look a little larger and they get a better foliage and we'll just do that naturally um, I mean, I'm going to try this one I didn't try it with glass uh, let's see if it does the same thing that it does with the oak uh, probably not because there is not a giant form of the tree okay I'm going to put the glass here take this out this seems to work only with the giant form of the tree. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for my bone meal. I think this is probably going to do the same thing. It's not going to do anything with the bone meal. That keeps it from... 
Oh, no, it did. It, it got that one. It may not let, you know, that, that did kind of branch off quite a bit there. Let's kind of get out of the way here. See what happens with this one. All right, that one's straight up, and that's kind of neat. This one may or may not work because the glass is here. It needs to branch off. Let's take that off. But see these, yeah, see, they're separately growing, and yet you can make them grow to become what looks like a very large tree that has some interesting lines. So you get a, a much sturdier tree with lots more wood. All right, same thing will happen here, except that all birch trees are going to go straight up. There is just no sense even putting the glass here because it will just stop it. And you can just, oh, okay, come on, let's do it. There we go, there's one. Now, birch trees n in the normal do not go more than eight. Let's see, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven there. Now, we might get one that goes a little higher. Um, looks like it's the same height, maybe even a six instead of a seven. And with the birch trees, you don't really need to clear off the uh, leaves above. It's the uh, it's the regular oaks that are kind of hard that way. Now, see though, with making that a two by two, a four patch, um, you do get at least a little bit of a nicer configuration with the leaves. Um, they kind of spread out and make it look like a larger tree. And we're going to make them a little larger here in a few minutes. But now we're going to do this. This basically is going to give give you the large tree every time. Now, I'm going to do it even with the four because we want to have this look. Now, the huge tree, you know, the giant tree, is what we're looking for here. And we're going to just put this one in here like this. And we're going to start hitting that right there. And there we go. We got a tree. Oh, and look, it didn't even grow that one over there. It grew that one. Now this, look at the leaves. Um, even though it looks like a short tree, it actually has the large tree type of a form. Um, I think we'll just leave that one in here and try. Usually, sometimes, now see that one went right up there. Did you see that? Shot right up there and became the huge tree right away. Um, that's the one next to the glass. Let's see what happens with this one. It did. It spread out a little bit further than it would normally do. And yes, it did go up and make another one there. I connected there. And you can go right in ahead and do this in here. Now, sometimes you have to clear this out. Now, on their own, they probably you'll have to clear it out. But look at that. Look at the nice big tree that you can get there with the oak. And it just joined right over here with the, with the dark oak. Now, that has nothing added to it. It's just a plain old big tree. And we're going to take that glass out of there. Um, where is it? There we go, right there. Now, if you do those four trees without the glass, which I'm going to go over here and demonstrate that also, that would be one, two, three, four. I put the coarse dirt in there so that I could just see for sure quickly where I wanted to put them. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bone mill these. And without that glass in there, we are more likely to get just a straight tree. Well, no, we got a big one. <laughs> well, that happens sometimes. But uh, um, I have found that it is actually more likely to get the big ones when you have when you have them right together like this. Um, like I said, you know, it will grow even without the bone meal. Now, see that one actually was just a small tree that grew in there, I believe. So we got two, and look how big that one got. So you can get really quite tall trees, um, and very reliably um, by at least starting with the glass and if you don't look right here these trees are all grown together there so yeah um, experiment with that a little bit um, if you just have one now we're going to do some single trees over here and we'll see what we get we're going to start with the number one tree which was the acacia and we'll put them here and uh, go ahead and let them grow if they will and then the number three oh three is the dark oak and um, that one will not grow that way so we'll skip over to uh, the jungle tree, and then the oak tree, and then the spruce tree. All right. Now, still, you do not want anything at the corner, at the northwest corner of that spruce tree. Um, as far as I know, that will still not be good for it, but let's give it a try. Spruce trees do not like stuff on their corners. Oh, it, it, that one did all right, but it will not grow at all if you do that with the large oak tree. Now that made a fairly good sized tree. So, 
you know, you can get small ones with that too. So that, I don't know if that really did help or not, um, but it didn't impede it at least. Now the other one, let's do, go ahead and do the oak tree here, which is right next to it. Um, well, we know that's going to make a big tree. Let's not even do that. Let's just do um, a regular oak tree. There we go. And it just kind of snugged itself in underneath there. All right, the, the jungle tree, we're going to make a little room there for it. And it might make a nice tall tree there. It, it didn't, though. It made a short one. They tend to kind of uh, get together with what you have next to them. And we start. I started on that end on purpose. Now we're going to do the birch tree. This may be a fairly small one. Yeah, see, it's not. It's not real big. One, two, three, four, five. And then here is the acacia tree. And although, yeah, this one had more room to stretch here at the end, so it made a nice nice little awning out of itself over here. So I'm going to go down here at this end, and I'm going to start it from the other end. We'll start with the, uh, oops, some grass there. We'll start there with that one, and then we'll do the two, and then we'll skip to the four, and the five, and the six. All right, we're not going to use anything but the bone meal. And again, you don't have to use the bone meal. Your trees will grow by themselves, but bone meal is just hurrying it up right now. We're going to start with this one first and give it a chance to really get nice and tall. See, by itself, it makes a fairly tall tree. It was standing next to a fairly tall tree over here, and there's a tall tree over here. So they they do tend to group. This one might get up to the eight. It might not even grow. Yeah, it did. Okay. So yeah, I see it. Try to go a little taller. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it's stuck in the leaves there. Okay, so then we have the um, the jungle tree, and I'm not going to make a hole for it. We're just going to see what happens. There we go. It stayed right about that same height. See, the ones over here were staying at the height of the smaller tree that here. This one snugged in underneath there, and then they stayed fairly small. Over here, we started with the one that was a little taller, and they're trying to get up there to that height. Now that's because they're so close. If you have them far apart, they don't really care. See there? It kind of matched that height. All right. And spruce still does not like to have stuff around it a lot. It might take a little bit longer. We might have to clear that. They're a little pickier. As long as we clear the air above it, it should go. And really, let's clear a little bit more around it. Come on, you can go. Really? That's kind of unusual. Let's clear all the leaves out there. All right, we'll replant that one. That was number six. And see what happens. It does not want to go. That's very interesting. It should go. I really don't know why that's happening. That is an, an anomaly. Let's move it over one. Um, like I said, they are definitely pickier. There, see that one went. It just somehow didn't think it had enough room to go. But it stayed at, you know, that's about the same height as that one over there. They will sometimes get taller than that. Now, what I want to do here is to uh, do the uh, a single oak tree, let's say right here, and we'll put the glass down right here, take that one out. And let's go ahead and put a birch tree next to it. That would be number two. We'll put that one right here. Oops, not there. Right there. And we'll grow it first. It should have a good chance of getting. See that is about as high as they're going to get. One. Th there's the wood there. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, it could go a little higher than that. But that's that's probably real close to it. And I'm not going to move those leaves. There we go. Come on. You can do it. Yeah. It doesn't want to. I don't know whether it's the, the way it's confined out here or not. Um, all right, let's make a hole for it. Ready? It does not want to go. Let's take that out of there. There, it went, but it's not um, it's not the uh, huge tree. But let's, uh, let's do that one more time down here, just a single one. And let's put the glass by it. Take that out and bone meal it. 
There we go. Well, it didn't really make a huge tree, did it? That one's just a plain old regular tree. Well, most of the time you're going to get that. All right, so what you're going to do then is if you... Um, I'm going to check my time here. I think we're really close to being 20 minutes. My timer hasn't gone off, so we're not over. We've got about four minutes left. I was hoping I could get it done in this amount of time. So let's just take this, uh, let's say this birch tree down here. Uh, we'd want it to be a little taller. Now, James Stancil mentioned how to do this. I would take out this one here, and let's put some of the dirt in. I have the coarse dirt in here. You could use any kind of dirt you want. Um, except for plowed dirt. I don't think you can plant directly on that. Maybe you can. I'm not real sure. All right, so let's uh, let's put another birch tree sapling right in here. Come on, there we go. And then, and you can climb up and do this, of course, instead of doing it in creative. And you could just let it, it will grow by itself, but it will grow faster, of course, with that. Now, there you go. So now you have an interesting looking tree, and we could actually add, let's say, another one in here. So you can kind of go around and just doctor it up. And make some fun stuff out of it. Then you can go in and if you have shears, you can take down the leaves and then you can put them back after you uh, after you do your transplanting. Oh, I need to put a I need to put a sapling in there first, and then bone mill. There we go. All right, let's see what happens here. There we go. So yeah, you could you could add more to that or not. You know, you can get your your tree your leaves just in a very interesting pattern. You can do the same thing with any of those by just putting a little piece of dirt in there. Now let's go ahead and get some shears here, and I'll put those in here right for the moment. And I'll go in here, take that leaf out and that leaf out, and it will take that out. Um, then we need a birch log, and take that there and fill it in here like that and do the same over here I'll just because I'm in creative it's easier to just do it this way alright so then I have the leaves that I got which I'm in creative so I didn't get the leaves of course so let's go back to birch and pick up a stack of those no I know you don't need a stack when you're doing creative it's just my habit so there we go we can add those back in and now you have a regular trunk that went up a little, a little bit varied, made you a nice tall tree. And you can do that with the singles as well. You know, just take, like, for instance, well, the, you can actually get those to grow a little taller by themselves. But um, let's just say, we, let's let's take this one right here since we have birch. Um, let's, let's put um, a dirt in here. And then we're going to do a sapling in here. And we're going to have that bone mill back. And hit it. Okay, so then you have just a nice tall single birch tree that has a little gap in the middle. Now if you want to just fill that in, instead of, uh, you know, you don't have to go and take that, the, uh, the, what do you call it, the dirt out. Just build around it. So now you have a nice tall, birch tree that looks like it completely grow that grew all the way that tall from the sapling that you planted at the bottom. So yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, I think, to play around with the with the trees. Now both the jungle tree and the that special spruce tree can get a whole lot taller than that. I had some here a while ago that were like double this high. So yeah, that's really fun. And then if you want to do a big one on top of that it's even taller, we can do that. Let's just make sure that we'll get in here on the part. There we go, right there. And we'll put some dirt in there. And then we'll plant the, what is it, jungle tree is number four, I think. And jungle sapling is number four, yeah, right there, like that. And then we're going to get the bone mill here and hit it. Ready? There we go. There you go. So you can you can really do special stuff with that. And those are great for making tree houses in. Um, you know, you'll find them in the in the jungle. 
like that and that you can they will grow I had one growing when I was uh, playing with this just a little while ago um, that completely did almost exactly that without having a second tree added to it so yeah but for effect um, and landscaping and all that kind of stuff there you go have some fun make big trees you can also limit them that's another thing I'm going to show real quickly um, I will do this by doing uh, fence posts I think let's just use the acacia fence post here and go up uh, let's say right over here one two three four let's just say we want a really short spreading acacia tree so let's do oops that's not the, is that there we go that's the, no there we go okay and let's uh, let's limit it out this well I don't th let's just do the top but let's attach to that to make sure that it kind of stays underneath that area you can do that with any kind of thing that you want to put on top of it and Java dad has done that and uh, he did that recently in the florist shop um, that he was doing for MHC um, there we go let's plant that acacia tree we'll just plant one two three of them together like that you can do them in any kind of pattern you don't have to do them in fours um, let's see then we want the bone meal again and this should limit that tree to not go past that now once in a while now this might not even do it I know that the bur the uh, okay let's take those out then. that won't do it it's got stuff over its head the, the uh, oak should do it Oh, come on, give me that one. It might need, need to be one taller at least. It doesn't want to go. Okay, let's make it a little bit taller. And get that, uh, the fence down in there again. Now I'm pushing my time really here now. <laughs> All right, let's just put the one line over it here like that. And let's try that again. Ah, oh, it doesn't want to go. All right, let's try one more. Now I usually just use slab over the top, and we can do that too. But let's try it one more time with just the fence posts. Let's see if we can get it to work. Yeah, it's not gonna work, really. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so let's get a slab, and we'll go ahead and take an acacia one while we're at it. Set this on here, and again, that might still not be tall enough. Okay, let's hit the middle one. It does not want to go. Really, that's just very strange. All right, one more time. Make it a little taller. Let's make it two. No, nope, I wanted to go one, up one more. It may be that there's a minimum, but I haven't. Uh, played around with that a whole lot. So what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that might not be still tall enough. It might be eight. Okay, we'll try a little bit more. And we'll go ahead and go up to eight. Actually, we'll need to go to nine to leave the hole in it at eight, right? Of course, that's not going to make it really short, is it? I, I don't know. Let's see. That is just not going to go. Let's take that one out. All right. How about we try the acacia tree in there then? That's really weird because I do that all the time, like in in Skyblock, um, to keep it from going. But I use uh, I use cobblestone, so I don't know. It may not like the wood. That's just weird. Let's take that out. Maybe it doesn't like having the fence posts there. It's weird. I can't get it to grow. <laughs> Strange. Uh, okay, well, we'll just discount that one. It has nothing to do with the limiters. <laughs> but anyway, you can play around with that. There, see, now it wanted to go. And it just wanted to be bigger than that, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, you can play around with limiting it by putting a, a bar over its head. Anyway, that's the end of that. I just kind of thought you'd like to see it. And I will see you in whatever... Minecraft video that we
come up with next time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.